It's Wednesday, and there's plenty to discuss on this edition of Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9 after High Limit released its race format for the upcoming season. Bear with me, there's a lot to unpack here, so we'll probably go over 90 seconds. This is a lot like the All-Star Circuit of Champions format that's been used in years past, only there's a couple twists. Qualifying will be one flight up until 32 cars. 32 cars or more, it'll be two flights, and the flight, and it'll be seated to even out each flight. The top qualifier will start fourth in his heat race. The rest of the heat race will be lined up heads up, similar to that of Pennsylvania Speed Week. The fast qualifier who transfers and the heat winner go to the dash. But here's where it gets kind of unique. If the fast qualifier can win from fourth, they avoid the dash draw and automatically will start at the front of the dash. Everything else is pretty standard and similar to the World of Outlaw format. You can improve your starting spot in the future through your heat race. Your B main starting spots determined by your heat race. But there's also another unique twist here. If it's a two-day show, the top three or four based on car count from the prelim will automatically avoid qualifying on the second night and go straight to the heat races with the rest of the field having to qualify. Do I like what High Limit's doing here? Absolutely. I like the field being split at 32 cars instead of 38 like the World of Outlaws because I feel tracks drop off quicker, and this is better for competition. The seating process. This is something that's long overdue in sprint car racing across the board and is easily done with the technology we have at our disposal in 2024. As for the heat races, Fans complain all the time about fast qualifiers starting fourth and just riding around to a redraw spot. High limits added their twist, and now I think we're going to see more intense racing, especially the first three or four laps as those guys push to get to that front row starting spot in the dash. High limit has an advantage here. Brad Sweet has been around a long time and has seen everything in this sport. Mike Hess, same thing. As a group, I think they've made little tweaks and hit another home run. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back Thursday. Stay tuned.